What's going on, YouTube? Now, listen. As y'all boys seen in the title, man, I'm going to be going over the best moves, the most efficient ISO moves for tall guards today in this video. If you have a, if you're just struggling to get open at least eight, make sure, make sure boys go watch at least these three tutorials. Bro, I told y'all everything I have. Go watch these three tutorials before you watch the newest ones. If you're new at the, if you're the channel, make sure you like and subscribe if you're new. Anywho, I'm going to show y'all boys more. Oh my God, I'm killing this guy. <laughs> I'm gonna be showing you guys the best, the most efficient moves to use, especially on tall guards that should be using. Especially if you mean my exact build or someone or somewhat similar to my build. I'm gonna show you boys that I do a little bit of everything to where you, to where, to where you, you got them unguardable. Like, if you get the ball, especially on threes and twos, you should be scoring at least 15 points per game. 12. When you, when you, go, when you go to the introduction, your know, introduction at least say like, 10 points 10 plus per game or plus. I ain't gonna lie to you. Especially on these tall guards, because these builds are overpowered. Hell, I ain't gonna lie. Playing on these tall guards is just fun as hell. Especially my build, the way I made my build. Oh my god. The way I made my build, man, it's just it's just too fun. Like I'm getting ankle breakers, then just donking on people, bro. I ain't gonna lie, y'all probably never see I'm, I might never shoot, I might never shoot the ball again in these clips. Like I'm just like, I haven't dunked in so long. I might never show a shoot clip ever again. Like look, I just dropped it for no reason. <laughs> this is too fun though. Menu. And also, if you haven't if you haven't already, go watch my new build video. The, the, this could be the exact build how I make this build. And that video, go well, you can't go watch it. Write this video and put it put it down in the description for you. And I'm gonna put the jump shot vid in the description as well. <coughs> but yeah, man. And then after this one, I am gonna show y'all boy. I'm gonna make y'all boys an advanced glitchy tutorial for all the glitchy moves, how to do all the spin backs, the run backs. Way more, way more in depth on it, if that makes sense. <coughs> so make sure y'all boys like and subscribe if y'all new. You know what I'm saying? Share the video on the way to 4K, man. Listen, thank y'all boys for the support for the last video. Y'all boys really like, really like that build I made, y'all. You know what I'm saying? You gotta make the game fun. If you watch that video, even if you watch the video, pat yourself in. You trying to throw. You trying to change the fun. It, it's from telling you. Y'all keep making these meta builds. The game ain't gonna be as fun as you. You should have one meta build. The rest of the bitch is a fun shit. I ain't gonna lie to you. Try to be comp with every build. Like, try to be comp with a different build. It's fun as hell. I'm telling you. So if you plan on making it, make the build, dog. Make a tall guard. And also, I want to say something. We all know the fight coming up. Uh, it's actually pretty. I, I can create uh, What if I predict the winner? <laughs> I promise you, bro. When I make this video, bro, what's the, what is the date? It is right now the 14th. I promise y'all, bro, Mike Tyson's about to lose that fight. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's rigged. <laughs> that shit is rigged as hell. But anywho, man, make sure, boys, like and subscribe if y'all are new, man. Tag any of your friends who trying to make a tall guard. I could put, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna give them the juice. I got the juice. If you're at least six, seven, and up, and also, oh yeah, if you're all, also, if you have been at six, seven, and up, and you're trying to play, I play with, I play with them anybody at this point. The game, the game is that serious to go comp. I could win every game if I want to or not. It doesn't matter to me as long as I have a fun in this bitch and winning. <clears throat> if you got a tall guard trying to play, man, add my PSN. It's gonna, it'll be legit in the description. I do not know my name. I can't tell you my exact. I have eyes and L. I don't remember. <laughs> Um, I have it in the description though. You can try to guess or some shit. Or I can add you. Just tag your um, PSN down below. We can run some twos or threes, whatever it is. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, man. With that being said, let's get straight to the vid, dog. Like, subscribe if y'all new. Share the video with anybody trying to make a tall guard. All right. So first things first, I'm gonna go over the dribble moves. Now, as far as the dribble moves, we'll start with the dribble style. Now, this all is preference based, but I'm gonna show you what my preference is. I used all these already, and the best one for me, especially how I built my, how I made my build, is Zach Levine. I'm gonna say this every video, bro. Zach Levine, I feel like Zach Levine is the best dribble style in the game for his cross launches. Now, and now 2K do drop a new, that's 16-3, 2K do drop a new dribble style for um tall guards. You know what I'm saying? Something we could do the same hand side speed boost. Not times 10 they want, because all our speed balls are like damn near under 80, bro. So we're, not, we're probably not better to get it. Unless you're like 6'6 six, six or 6'7. Six, I ain't gonna lie to you. If you're 6'7 six, six, up, bro, or 6'8 and up, you're probably not gonna get the new dribble style anyway, probably. <clears throat> but I love, bro. I'm loving Zach Levine. I've been using Zach Levine for that for damn near two months now on um, both of my six eights, bro. It's very, I ain't gonna lie. Zach Levine is very, very good if you know how to use it right. He crosses, his cross, stuff is so fast. And then with the new take, with, with the takeover I got, oh man. But if you want, you can't go with Jelly Green, Zion Wilson, or Zach Levine. I recommend Zach Levine. <clears throat> you can't go lab up with the other other two ones that I recommend it. Or you can start the Zach Levine. I recommend Zach Levine. I ain't gonna lie to you. That, that's, that's my guy. I ain't gonna lie. So now, next thing, next I'm going to go over with you boys is the signature size up. Now, I went with Kobe White. This is how I'm touching on the build video, bro. I make my build a certain way so I can have everything. 
I make my bills with the mind of, I don't know why I still do lockdowns are trash. I make all my bills with the mind, even the past two kids, I guess I'm traumatized. I make all my bills with the mind of going against a lockdown, someone with a high steal, you know what I'm saying, high, all that, all that high stuff. So, that's why I can able to get unlock all the moves I want to have. So, for since the size of with Kobe White, if you would like, you can go. If you can't get Kobe White, go with Kate Cunningham. I've been using that since season one of my 6'6", six, six, actually. So, that's when actually, that's a good, fastest one. So now, next things next, regular breakdown combo. Now this is very, this is very, actually a very, very important move. I added all my combos, and it's another reason why you see behind the eighty-five plus required, bro. Now regular breakdown combo, my favorite one is still Kobe White. Now as far as regular breakdown combos, the way I play my play style, all this is preference based. <clears throat> but for me, I'm recommending ones that I use, and most likely you should better use them too. I like Zach Levine. What I like to do with Zach Levine, if you can't get Kobe White, I'll go with Zach Levine. I had it on my six-six as well in season one. The reason why I like Zach Levine because he switches hands a lot of times, so you can slow the game down, or you can use it. Cause I, I play, I'm a listen. I'm a two K seventeen, two K sixteen, two K eighteen, two K nineteen OG. I don't know. We used, to be, we used to be able to kill people with rhythm dribbles back in the day. If you know, if you know, if you don't know what a rhythm dribble is, <laughs> you're not, you're not an OG in two K, dog. My play style literally is the same exact way from those previous two Ks. So I still play almost damn near the same. <clears throat> That's why I like that's why I like regular breakdown comments because I can actually kill defender with one. I can literally kill somebody one exact same move over and over again. Just like a seventeen, I can spam one move and go crazy. You know what I'm saying? So you can either use regular, you can either use Kobe White if you can get it, or Zach Levine. Zach Levine switches hands a lot of times. You can cross, bro. You can cross punch, bro. You can kill people, dog. You can cross punch any way you want to. You can choose where you want to go, like a pick play. You know what I'm saying? All right, so next things next, I'm gonna go over with you guys. One of my most favorite moves to do as well is the aggressive breakdown combo. Now, Jason Tatum, bro, put on J. Look how she, you see me move with it. I don't understand, bro. Um, Jason Tatum's the best one. I like Jason Tatum. Just the fact he switches hands so many times, he just so shifty. Uh, 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 uh. He literally so goddamn shifty, man. You need to go with Jason Tatum. Um. There's no point in having two like okay like you see the regular breakdown combo I showed you boys that Kobe White and Zach Levine. There's no point in having um another dribble style to make you move. You, you, you need a move that's gonna have you moving. It's have like moving like some type of movement if that makes sense. So Jason Tatum is in the second move. You need, when it, when you, God damn it, bro. No. <laughs> so now next things next we'll go over our escape moves. So now with the escape moves there's only two really good ones. Um you can't try James Harden hit the behind the back. It, it just ain't worked it, bro. The cross with sixteen is better than anything else. I'm gonna show you boys how to do that in the tutorial. But you get to go with basic because you get the same cross with sixteen spam with basic, and you see that move right there. You get the same thing with Luka Doncic. I don't want to look at Doncic because he has a little bit better animations than basic. It really doesn't matter. Just preference if you can get it, with you, whichever available to you. Now for common moves, we're gonna go with pro. Nothing else. Now for crossover, I went with Josh Giddy. Josh Giddy, I like Josh Giddy crossover. It's, 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 it feels quick to me. Oh, um, you can't go with Zach Levine as well. If you don't like Josh Giddy that much, you can't go with Zach Levine. But I feel like Josh Giddy, I have like a faster. I, I feel faster when I do the crossover, bro. I don't know. But Zach Levine, his is a little slower, but it does throw you in front of the defender a lot. And I did hear a lot about Devin Booker as well. Those are the three best ones. I that's ones I actually like you. So I tested out. <clears throat> but my main one is Josh Giddy. So now for behind the backs. Now man. When it comes to behind the backs, bro, um, I like I like my by standing behind the backs to be fast. Now, I did try pro. Pro is it's not a bad behind the back. I don't recommend it. To, listen, if you get Kawhi Leonard, um, I recommend you try Kawhi Leonard before pro. I don't, I can't get, I just can't get JJ with pro with the hug. I just do not like pro. <clears throat> and I, it, it ain't a trash behind the back like this. You see that behind the back right there, explosive one? That one is tough. I ain't gonna lie. I just can't get JJ with it, dog. It's not. It's, it's like the standing one. I I, I I like to have the essence of. That space, that I don't know how to explain it, bro. <clears throat> but the stand up on the back, ugh, I just hate it, bro. But the slow up, yeah, it's tough. The slow to move on is tough. But that's all I went with Kawhi Leonard. Um, Kawhi Leonard actually is does see how much space he creates when you do the, the stand up behind the back. <clears throat> you can actually do the, the, the um double behind the back and get create crazy space with Kawhi Leonard. And also with Kawhi Leonard explosive behind the back, I did find something glitchy. You could do a little. I'm gonna show up. You go. You probably seen it on the clips already. His explosive behind the back actually has like the automatic pro full spin in it. <clears throat> and also another behind that you can't go with is normal. Now for spin, I want my boy Steve Nash got the pro four in there, the built-in pro four. <clears throat> um, god damn it! 
Yo, my, all right, I'm starting to hate winning time, y'all. I really do. Now, for hesitations, I want my boy Tyrese. He got the little moving hesitation. That's the fastest one. You can try out uh, Paul George as well. <clears throat> now, for step backs, I want with Luka Doncic, of course, again. I do have an 85, 86 bar handle, actually, so I can unlock this. If you can't get this, you can go with Zach Levine, the next best one. That's the one I do recommend you try going for. And also, I believe it was Jimmy Butler. Jimmy Butler, Tyrese. I said Jimmy Butler. Jimmy Butler, Tyrese. God damn it. Jimmy Butler, Luka, and Zach Levine is the three best um, step backs you can try on. But I went with Zuka Doncic in this video. Um, so now for the hop jumpers, I'm still with Jordan Clarkson. Even though they did they did nerf it down a little bit, <clears throat> Jordan Clarkson still goes crazy for me. I shoot off it a lot. I like to shoot off it. It still looks clean as hell. Um, you can't go with Pro 2 or also Dylan Brooks. Those are kind of um, similar to Jordan Clarkson. If you can't get it because you do need an 81, 82, three-pointer to unlock Jordan Clarkson. I know some of, some of you guys on that big build, big 6'10 builds. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? So we gotta have we gotta, we gotta make sure all the six ready for everybody, all the tall guards. This the this the big build meta BBM. Now another one of my most favorite moves is my boy. Now, listen, I'm gonna say it right. Bryce Cinnabo. Oh man, Bryce, bro. Listen, I'm gonna say Bryce. My boy, my boy Bryce, go to shot. That bitch top. I like it. I've been using it lately. It's been going crazy. I've been using it. I've not been using it as much as I have. As I should have been like a month ago when I made my six, my lay bill, my lay god bill. But when I got my donkey bill, bro, Bryce gets you to the paint. It can get you. This little move right there, like, that inside move, that gets you to the paint. I get a lot of alley loose and anger breakers off that move. It's so tough, dog. I keep forgetting I'm a donkey bill now. I'm a donker. I keep I forget I keep forgetting I'm a certified donker. So I'm gonna finish some shit. Oh, hold up. Let's go my lip style. We can't go with default swing. Um, and default small. That's how you do the Euro Donks. I'm going to show boys that today also as well. I don't know why I got default small on. But I'm going to show boys the donk style. I forgot I'm a donker now. <laughs> so, the best donks you're going to need. I, you're going to make a donk, donk style right here. I'm going to show boys the best donks. I did to try it out myself. I have hours on the game, bro. I did test everything out. So, the best donks you're going to have on first is Rim Gazers. That's a two-foot moving donk. Rim Gazers off two. And also, for basic, you go with basic one-handers. Those two at the bottom. And of course, of course, we're gonna buy the contact donks. Now you can't put on some other stuff; gonna be a little more fancy. But it's just, just to get the job done and look cool. I want, I just want contact donks to be in the day. We're gonna also need baseline reverses off one. And just, damn, I didn't put that in the video. I'm gonna share, but I'm I gotta make a whole new, I gotta make a whole new dunking video. Share, but all the OP shit. We also got upper uh, leg Tom Hawks off one. Put that on as well. For that's the one for moving dunks. And of course we have, pro, of course we have the pro contact dunks on. And for standing dunks, my bill can't get standing dunks. We have one hand and two hand. You want to put those on now for the signature dunks. You want LeBron James. LeBron James. You know what I'm saying? The LeBron, my boy John Morant, and my boy man. I miss Russell. I miss the old Russell, dog. I also put on Russell Westbrook dunk package. Damn, <laughs> I miss my dude Russell. But yeah, man, that's it for the jump moves and all the dunks I have. Now I'm gonna go ahead on go ahead. God damn it, I'm gonna go over the takeovers, man. So the takeover I'm using right now, I'll make a separate video about all of them, the best ones you should use. But uh, but just for the sake of the video, especially watch it all the way through. I'm gonna put you on some juice. Put on mixtape takeover. If you're a tall bill and you have on mixtape, <laughs> and you're a Duncan bill. <laughs> Mixtape goes. Mixtape is a mixtape. Oh, I just thought of that shit. I'm gonna make a mix. I'm making another. I got. I got to start back making mixtapes. But mixtape, you literally gonna be making mixtapes. So I see. I have, I have a high ass bit range. Just like if you mean, if, if you mean my same exact build, this makes this takeover will make you crazy in the midi. We're getting a 99 mid range to take over. We're not missing no fades. Oh, we're not. We could take anything we want in the mid range. We have a 93 ball handle, so we gonna be dropping defenders. We basically have ankle assassin on gold at that point. And we also got an 82 speed with ball. I move crazy when I get takeover. I start moving crazy fast. Like you'll think of a point forward again, bro. Like there, that that's the best. That's that's the best takeover you can't go with. I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a separate video about the best ones because they do got some other ones I would use. I just go with mixtape. I'm trying to make mixtapes. Head ass. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying. But yeah, go with mixtape if you can't get it. Max it out. It's tough, bro. This is one of the best takeovers you can put on. What's going on, y'all? So listen, I got some gameplays for y'all boys. Now listen, I'm playing me and my boy Zay. He's a 6'8 ISO God in training right now. I got him in training. Let's bring, I got him in boot camp. I literally just put him onto the 6'8 juice. He look, you literally see a 92 overall, dog. <laughs> but yeah. So yeah, man. Y'all boys about to see I'm going to get two pur purple plates. You know what I'm saying? I guess I'm apparently you're sweaty. They're, they're tough if they purple plates or high rep. I guess so. It's been like this it's every 2K if you got a high rep, whatever. I don't know. But yeah, it's me and my boy Zay one of the tools, man. So <clears throat> so start the game off. I'm at power four. I see him him jumping. He not he not jumping a lot. So I seen that he didn't jump on that. So I don't know his defense is conservative. He's not gonna play back a lot of times. He's not gonna fight on nothing. So I can just take advantage of him. I could I I I, I can handle bacon, bro. <laughs> but 
<clears throat> he's not gonna lie me. I can't really take offense at the center every time. Just like I said, I made my bit of power for it. Now there will instances. This is two, so the, the guard will try to switch. I, I really want the guard on me. I ain't gonna lie. I'm, I'm kind of skeptical for the center to be on me because centers can actually guard me better than the guard. If you know, like, like you said, I'm doing do right now. It is hard for the center to keep up with me because I have so many weapons on this build. I meant to build a 91 mid range. Well, now I got a 92 because I'm my cat break. I have a 92 mid range. Gold. Gold, dead eye, gold, shifty shooter. I'm not missing a fit. And I see you try to switch the guard on me. That's exactly what I want. So I get the easy blow by by the guard. The guard is too small. <clears throat> now listen, this is me trying to get him out of here. I don't usually play strictly. If I want strictly, just go for wins. So I can literally just fade the whole game out. But I'm playing my boy Zay. I told you, I play with anybody, bro. If you talking, if you want to run, dog, I don't care what percent is. I don't care about that shit no more. That shit don't matter no more, dog. It's just at the end of the day, trying to have fun, get dubs. You know what I'm saying? Go for clips. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to y'all. <clears throat> but you know what I'm saying? So, you boys, they went the tools, dog. I got my tools here. I also got in training. <clears throat> you see the center got a foul on me. You see he gave me a foul, and I see I'm going back from back to my midi phase. I do not miss mid-range phase, dog. If I really, really, like, want to, like, just get wins, which is going to be very boring, bro, I could just go fade mid-range just all game. Like, I'm giving, I'm just a courtesy for me even dribbling. <laughs> I swear to God, it is. It's literally, I'm giving, I'm just a courtesy. I'm courtesy to ice him and dropping him off. Like, it's like another fade. He's just playing down. So, I'm going to just get him out of here. See if he's conservative all game. So, I'm going to He's sitting down the paint. He's scared of my don't. I have a 93 driving don't. A 92 mid range. A 85 three ball. I don't got to shoot the stick. Look, the guard switching on me again. Somebody literally just blow past him. Bro, when you put the guard on me, bro, that's what I want you. I literally want you to put the guard on me. I could have shot the three, but I'm going to take a two to show him how small he is. And he's blow by by the guard. It's too easy. They're going to put the guard. I want the guard on me every time. Oh, that's what I want. <clears throat> I really don't like I really don't like the centers. I know I'm just better powerful to take advantage of the centers. <clears throat> Cause I, really, I want contact dunks. At the end of the day, I'm trying to get contact dunks. I ain't dunking five years. So I don't really care. Centers can low-key stop the contact dunks sometime. You see they're trying to switch. They don't know what to do. They don't know what to do in the mode. They want they don't know who, who want guard who. So now I just shot the three up, man, with square. Just like I said in this video, I made my build at 85-3. So with the shoot with, so with the, we have the courtesy. You know what I'm saying? With the courtesy to shoot with a square button. We don't gotta use the stick. Stick part not hard. I'm not using it. I haven't used that one time yet. You see the guard switched on me again. I did try to pass out of that, <clears throat> get it to my boy Zay. Zay pass it right back to me. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna take it back out, reset myself. <clears throat> now, I told y'all, boy, that mixtape takeover is tough as hell. I got a 90, I got a 99 mid range right now, so I'm not missing that fade. Like this build is crazy. Like you really wanna go crazy, talk. Like I can really abuse the hell out of people with this build. But you see, now I got the ISO 70 right now. I'm up on the center. I dropped them with the oh myself live. I told you I mixed. I'm making mixtapes. When you got that takeover on, it's like this, this equivalent to the playmaking badge on Ticket 17. The uh, what was it? I just said playmaking badge. I guess it was the playmaking badge. Like this bit, this, this takeover goes so crazy. Like <clears throat> it does everything I need to do. I have a high ass midi. <clears throat> so now I did that. My boy Zay for the first shot, he breaked it. Listen, he in training, y'all. He in training. See, look, he got the ball, but he took this. He said, he told me, he told me, sit in the corner. He pulled up and great. <laughs> He had trained. Listen, listen. And my boy Z, when he get up, bro, he gonna be killing people, dog. He gonna be killing. So, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna lose. We're streak. We're streaking too. So that's what I say, man. If you wanna play, hit me up, dog. I'm here to just, look. I'm here to have fun, man. <clears throat> now we look at another game going on. God damn. <clears throat> this is also my boy Z, man. Um, all you got another pair play. This is like a post score. What was it? A post score in the six two? I don't remember. Yeah, it's a post score in the six two. You know how these guys. We already know how these guys gonna play. We already got. So we all know his guy's gonna play. I got the center on me at once again. So you know I'm gonna throw the ball down to my boy Zay. He about to take the easy dunk. He has IQ. He ain't, he might be in training for the six eight, but he has IQ. That's one thing about my boy Zay. He got IQ, dog. So we anyway, start the game off. <clears throat> now we got the center guard me. See, he's playing the same, almost almost the same as that defense. Trying to test him out, see what he got going. I did pull up for my mini fade and I bricked it. I'm not afraid to show my misses. I do is gonna miss sometimes. It is what it is. So now you got locking on defense. So I don't know what the hell just happened. Why did it? I don't know why I just covered it though. <clears throat> so we're about locking on defense right here. So he's trying to do he's trying to do L2 cheese a lot. <clears throat> you see me him playing side, supposed score. I am 6'8. So he's trying to L2 me. So it means they're switching on screens. He's trying to chuck up shots. The center go ahead of the board. This is the people playing on twos a lot. This is how they play. Luke trying to chuck up shots and get the center to take the board and help him out, bro. It's really like the worst thing. Look, look what he shoots and makes, bro. That shit is crazy as hell. <clears throat> But you know, me and Zay, we, you know, he been doing the same shit for like last three possessions, the quick little mini phase. So me and Zay, we, we just trying to lock on defense, change the play sides. My boy Zay got a hand up. I got that board. <clears throat> and I passed it back to my boy Zay. About to hit me back for the ISO. Reset me out. I pull up for three, shooting with square. Green. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Bro, we have to play sides. It's some, that's just how tools is, bro. <clears throat> I still be having fuck. I be dribbling and cooking the hell out my defender. It's just fun. Playing a, I'm playing an entire different game. Look at me, green and bro. That's why I make the build with the attributes. We have, to, we, have to, we have the courtesy to shoot with our square button. <laughs> and I, nothing wrong with shooting the stick. If you got the stick down, you know what I'm saying? Nothing wrong with that, man. 
<clears throat> let's see right now we did get the ball. I don't know how to get the ball back. But he tried to he tried to clunk up, try to do a, try to abuse the mid uh, three point phase, got the board back, playing the sides on him. Look at me doing a strong handle glitch on him, taking an easy lane. This build is made for everything. I told you this build could score any type of way. <clears throat> so now it's eight four right now, eight fourteen. God damn, it's eight fourteen. I'm trying to see what I work with him right. I'm trying to slow the game down. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to see what you're trying to do. See how far you playing back. He want me to shoot the ball. <clears throat> it's no no problem with it though. So I'm gonna test him. I'll take my easy memory. I have a 99 memory. So I'm gonna take a better shot. Broke his ankles. Green. I have a 99 midi with this takeover. So there's nothing you can't. We can, if I really want, I could have just faded all game if I really wanted to. <clears throat> if I wanted to get the game over, so you leave me open again. I'm gonna go ahead and take it slow. So I'm just gonna try to drop him. Try to get some little fancy shit on him. <clears throat> Breaking him again. So you know, see, literally scared to guard me, y'all. I'm gonna have my midi fade. That's green. 99 memory. I could do that. I could have just did that from the first start on. Like this is literally how I just. I just, I just can't do it. I just can't play like that. I just got to have some type of gym. This is boring as hell. So, I'm going to shove it in the game. I clunked that shit. God damn. So, after I missed that one shot, them boys started to turn up a little bit. They started abusing my boy Zay on the perimeter of the man. Let's see, he, he literally shows four for ten. This is getting a lot of boys back and forth. Anybody want to watch all that? I'm just going to cut out all that BS out. He's getting the ball back. But we did can make a strap. and see my boys. They playing up. We're playing good defense. I'm staying. You know what I'm saying? We're trying to step on top of this, um, the phase, man, the screens. We're playing outside. I'm staying down, trying to hedge low key. Coming back up, doing the arrow switch. I got them clamped up. They box and I go back. Look at they playing a box. This shit is getting easier and easier to box. My boy not having a full over, like the max overall yet. And we just box and shit like this, bro. <clears throat> they were literally getting bailed out boys all game. So now finally got the ball back. I'm about to go ahead and these dudes out of here. I'm going to get these dudes the hell out of here. Second shot. That's going to be green. I'm not playing with these dudes. And I got them out. Drop 21 is done. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, man. So that's basically how my, most of my games do go. I don't always. I have more things added in. As towards like I do, I do do way way more crazy things than that. Sometimes it just bit depends on the situation of who I'm going against. Sometimes I do six seven lockdowns, or maybe go against center. That's this is just like the majority of my games will go when it got when I got the most like the meta lineups, the small guard, the big center, the center. I'm going to kill a center every single time. But with that being said, let's go ahead and get started into the dribble tutorial. How to be way more effective? How to do the stuff I do to be way more effective and go crazy in the park. Or stage, wherever you play at, it don't matter. This game is not all. <laughs> it don't matter where you play at, dog. Just, just make sure you're having fun. You got a big build. Talk. Or you got you to know how to activate your big buildness. The big build meta. So let's get straight into it, man. Make sure, boys, like and subscribe if you're new. Share the video with anyone that's a tall guard, man. Let's get straight into it. So first things first, I'm going to show you, boys, a strong handle. A lot of y'all don't know about this. <clears throat> all y'all probably too scared to try it out. Now, strong handle, you've seen the idea in the game that's center. No matter, even though Center had like, I don't know, I, I forgot the strength. Go a little bit in the video. I don't know how much this where the strength was. But strong handle, you could do a crossover to a defender and get an automatic. It's almost an automatic. Like, my dude is like, watch this guy. He's another center. I've been doing this to all centers, bro. You get, why the hell is a shot in here? Wait, what the hell? Hey, I'm not cutting that out, bro. I don't know why I just shot the ball. Oh, yeah, I did do it. I did do it. I did do it. Yeah. Uh, but why did I leave the whole clip? Anywho, <clears throat> so I'm going to do strong handle. I see my running to. All I'm going to do is really run into him. And then flick up on a flick up diagonal up to the do a crossover, go between his legs, and get it easy too every single time. You could do this, you could oh, you could do this crazy towards guard. I'm listen, understand, I'm going to get centers, dog. <clears throat> so if a guard is on me, I'm gonna do the same exact thing, even worse. I'm, I'm gonna do that in the contact document, just get a get a crazy contact on PG. Nice, like I'm doing against someone already. He's already, I'm just killing, bro. I'll just be killing with this move. This is an automatic move. You can't abuse this move. I don't abuse it as much. I don't abuse it. I don't, I don't know if somebody abuse this move or somebody else abuses some BS. I'm trying to get him out the way. But yeah, this move very, very easy. All you want to do is, like I said, you want to go into your, go into the defender. So now, another move on shell boys I use a lot, especially it's very, very effective, is the OP hop cross or the hop or the hop fade. Now I use this move, this is a very explosive move. I have to use to get open a lot of times. I use this a lot. Way, way a lot of times to get open. And make, bring myself to the paint because you know but we since we have a 93 driving dunk, we'll meet a dunk every single time. Or oh, Ellie, you bit. Look at that crate, bro. This build is crazy, y'all. 
But yeah, with this you can actually go crazy because you got. It's a, I'm, I like. To, I should have called it explosive hop jump. We call it explosive hop jumper. Now you see right now again he tried to reach and I did a hop jumper right there again. It's very explosive. I can get an easy fade off. I have a if you have a high, especially if, you could use this especially if a high mid range, bro. <clears throat> you can actually burst yourself off the defender, then run out and hit your fade again. You see right now I hit him and get the same hop jump again. They crossed out. It's too easy to get, bro. This move is overpowered. You should have this in your bag as well. All right, so next things next, I want to show you guys how to do the crossover 16 spam slash peak. Now, listen, I ain't going to lie. Shout out to that boy Glock19. I ain't going to lie. <clears throat> I just want to know that move. I did, bro, I did not know how to do that peak move, the speed boost move out of 16 spam myself for so goddamn long. I just couldn't figure it out. Like, once I seen this video, once I seen I do that shit, I like, once you, once you say it, let's stick up diagonal. I got that shit down. I got that shit down immediately, dog. <laughs> it was very easy for me to get down. I, just know. I thought it was like a go-to shot or some shit. But it turns out it's very easy. A lot of builds can do it. You should better do this very, very easy. So I'm going to show you how to incorporate it to your game. Now, as I said in the video, you can do this move. With, you do need at least ba escape moves basic or escape moves Luka Doncic, whichever one. <clears throat> so let's get straight into it, man. Now, next things next, I'm going to show you boys how to actually be able to finish. Now, you should be using these Euro Dunks. I'll come to get your Euro Dunks, what are going to call it? These actually help you get past those defenses that sit in the paint, kind of like trying to peek the paint. I don't know. It's a type of weird defense. You know you should know what I'm talking about. It's like trying to sit, play up tight, kind of, but they're trying to bait the paint. <clears throat> Whatever you want to say. If you, if you know someone's playing up a lot, and sometimes you try to go for let's say you try to go for me to dunk, and they'll give you, they, they stop you somehow. Now, for Euro Dunks, this is that counter, this is that counter for that. Um, Cause the game is so goddamn bad. I don't know why when you go for a dunk <clears throat> on side someone, it makes it gets an automatic steal. But for the Euro, which, for for Euro dunks, you can cancel that every single time and actually just get yourself an easy two. Damn near every time. If you like, if you got like a step open or like an easy open lane for one foot in, these Euro dunks will get you to the paint easily. You better get easier dunks every single time. All right, so next things next, the last thing I'm going to show you, boys, is how to do the OP, the OD self lives. Now, if you don't know how to do this yet, they changed it since last year. <clears throat> um, from last year, it used to be double tap triangle, the regular lives, and double tap triangle to do self lives. Now, this shit made it way easier, which, Mike, we're not going to lie, Mike, we're going to for this shit. But they changed, it, they changed the control setting. I don't have to put the control up for this one. Um, I'm just going to tell you how to do it. So, on PlayStation, I have to hold X and circle when I go towards the paint to throw myself a self lob every single time. So, I'm pretty sure on Xbox, what is that? B and A? So, on Xbox, there will be B and A. You hold together. They just hold both of the buttons together at the same exact time. And you activate the um, OP self lobs, dog. It's very easy to do. So, yeah, man. With that being said, that is, that is going to be the end of the video. Make sure y'all boys like and subscribe if you're new. Now, I did show y'all boys my gameplay or how I usually play. Me and my boys, they was going crazy on the tools. And also give y'all boys a few things on how to be more and more effective on the court with your tall guard. When you're a tall guard, we go, we're going up against these smaller guards or whatnot. We're supposed to be bullying them. The game is funner on big build. Like, my build can do, I can guard post scores. I can get rebounds. I can shoot. I can break angles. 
tall guards are just fun as hell. Like, if you know anyone's trying to get into a tall guard meta, the BBM, I'm going to call it the BBM, the Big Bill meta. Tell them, tag me, bro. Tell them, show them my channel, man. I'm here for the tall guards this year. Uh, <clears throat> oh, also, I'm going to have actually have a, I'm actually have a, a actual glitchy, dribble, a, a glitchy, listen, a very, very glitchy dribble tutorial coming very, very soon. Probably after this video, I'll probably video after this video. Probably about two more videos. I'm going to have an advanced glitchy tutorial like for the clips and everything. The hop jumpers, the spinnies, the spinnerellas. I got all that coming, man. So make sure, boys, like and subscribe if you're new. Turn on your notice. And I'm out, man.